Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, we're going to work on order of operations, and we're going to apply PEMDAS, and we're going to solve these 10 problems right here. And as I'm pointing to them, in the video description, I will have a link to each problem, and you can skip ahead to them if you want to uh, not watch some of the other problems. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started with our first problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and start on the first problem. A, a couple things. One, you always work the problem from left to right. And we can use PEMDAS, P for parentheses, E for exponents, M for multiplication, D for division, A for arithmetic, or adding S for subtraction. And we're going to circle the M and the D because they go together and the A and the S. So let's get started. Remember, we're working from left to right. Do we have any parentheses? No. Do we have any exponents? No. Do we have multiplication? Yes. So we will work from left to right. So we will go 5 times 3, which is 15. And I'm going to bring the 2 down. That's our first bit that we do. And now we go from left to right. Do we have multiplication? Yes. So 15 times 2 is 30. So 5 times 3 times 2 equals 30. We Let's go through on. these. Um, each will get a little bit more challenging. Remember, I'm going to draw the arrow because we work from left to right, and we're going to apply parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, adding and subtracting. And again, I'm going to circle both of these because they go together. Now, as we work through the video, I will have this written in already, but at first we need to instill this. So, let's go left to right. Do we have parentheses? No. Do we have exponents? No. Do we have multiplication? No. So, we will start with addition and subtraction. So, we will begin going from left to right. 9 plus 8 is 17, and I'm going to bring the 7 down. Now, I just complete 17 minus 7 is 10. So, there's the answer for the problem number 2. Let's move on to number 3. If you just glance at it, you go, do I subtract first or do I divide? But we know what to do. We're starting from left to right. Do we have parentheses? No. Do we have exponents? No. Do we have multiplication or division? Yes, we do. So we will begin here. 32 divided by 4 is 8. So now I will bring down the 9. So now we have 9 minus 8. Going from left to right, do we have parentheses? No. Exponents? No. Multiplication, division? No, so we will add and subtract. And 9 minus 8 equals 1. Let's move on to problem 4. So, let's begin. We finally have some parentheses. Going from left to right, do we have parentheses? Yes, we have 10 minus 1. So we will complete that operation first. 10 minus 1 is 9. Now we bring down the 5. And um, I'm going to write a multiplication instead of division because 5 out, right outside the parentheses is multiplication. Now we go from left to right. Do we have a multiplication? Yes, we do. We have 9 times 5, which equals 45. On to the next one. So left to right, do we have parentheses? Yes, we have parentheses. So we will go 4 plus 4 is 8. Now I will bring down the rest of the problem. Now... Do we have parentheses? No. Do we have exponents? No. Do we have multiplication? No. But we have division. Remember, they're linked together. So now what we do is we have 48 divided by 8, and that is 6. Let's work the next one. Okay, remind you one more time. You're probably getting tired of hearing this. Work from left to right. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, add, subtract. These go together. Let's begin. Do we have parentheses working from left to right? Yes, we do. We have 5 plus 16. 5 plus 16 is 21. Now I will bring everything else down. Now we are starting over again, working left to right. Do we have parentheses? No. Do we have exponents? No. Do we have multiplication or division? Yes, we have 21 divided by 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3. Bring down the 2. 
Now, working from left to right, no parentheses, no exponents, no multiplication or division. And so we do have subtraction 3 minus 2 equals 1. So, fairly simple following the rules. So, going left to right, do we have parentheses? Yes. Do we have exponents? No. So, we need to start with the parentheses. So, remember, multiplication and division go together, adding and subtracting go together. So, we need to start with multiplication. So, to begin with, we're in the parentheses. 6 times 2 is 12. I'm going to bring down everything else and substitute the 12 for the 6 plus times 2. Okay. Now, let's start. Do we have parentheses, exponents? No. Do we have multiplication? No. Do we have adding and subtracting? Yes. So I go left to right. 2 plus 12 is 14. I'm going to bring everything down. Now, you could do this in your head, but uh, you may make a mistake, but I'm just showing you um, how I like to work it. Next, we go 14 plus 2 is 16. Bring down the minus 4 times 2. Notice how it's narrowing down to where we get to the answer. Now, do we have parentheses? Yes, so we're still working inside the parentheses. Now, 16 minus 4 is 12 times... 2. So finally, we work the multiplication. 12 times 2 equals 24. So this in parentheses times 2 equals 24. Um, let's work the next one. Are there parentheses working left to right? Yes, we have 7 times 5. 7 times 5 is 35. And bring down the divided by 5. Next, working left to right, no parentheses, no exponents. So we'll begin with the division, because remember, division and multiplication are linked together. And 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Pretty straightforward. Let's move on to the next. Okay, this next problem involves a fraction, but we're going to apply the same thing. Left to right and PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So, remember we're working left to right. Do we have parentheses? No. Do we have exponents? No. Do we have multiplication and division? Um, we do with this fraction. So we're going to start with the fraction. Because the fraction is a 27, technically 27 divided by 2 plus 3 plus 4. So the first thing we need to do is simplify this. So we're going to start with addition. We're going to go... Um, 27 over 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9. And then we're going to bring down the 3. Now going left to right, do we have parentheses? No. Do we have exponents? No. Do we have multiplication and division? Yes, we have division with this fraction. So what we're going to do is we're going to go 27 divided by 9. That's division. 27 divided by 9 is 3. We're going to bring down this 3. And 3 plus 3 equals 6. So, there's the answer to that one. And we have one more. Okay, now we have our last one. Left to right. Pim does. Okay. Working left to right. No parentheses. No exponents. So, now let's begin. We do have this multiplication. So, we're going to start here. 2 times 7 is 14. We're going to bring this down. Minus 10 over 9 minus 4. Working left to right, do we have any division? Yes, we have division right here. So I'm going to bring down the 14. And what we need to do is we need to work on the uh, lower part of the fraction uh, denominator. And we have 9 minus 4. So we're going to write 10 over, and 9 minus 4 is 5. Now, we are going to reduce this because it's an improper fraction. And we can go, I'm going to bring down the 14. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Okay. And now we just work left to right. 14 minus 2 is 12. 